Okay, so I have my notes here of what I wrote down and what I do anyways. So this tip is something I am currently working on. Uh, pardon me. <laughs> I am currently trying to detach my future with my happiness. You know, we're all chasing love, career, money. You know, sometimes we forget to just hit a pause. It's okay to chase those goals and dreams, but we can't tie our happiness to what could happen in like two to five to ten years time, you know? We just have to learn to accept that what we have now is exactly what we're meant to have. It's exactly where we're meant to be. As of right now, I gotta learn to be content with what I have. Most days I no longer have anxiety about what is next because I trust in the process. I'm trusting that eventually in divine timing that I will get exactly what I desire. <laughs> so there's no point in trying to push for things that are out of my control, if that makes sense. Guys, truly dig deep and think about what it is you're grateful for. I know everyone says this, but you gotta practice gratitude every single day. You gotta remind yourself of what you already have finding things in your daily life that you are grateful for makes a difference in how you perceive your life if that makes sense you know reminding yourself about the things that you probably would have wanted like five years ago or even two years ago and if you guys can hear the air fryer in the back it's just because i'm cooking my lunch cooking i'm air frying my wrap <laughs> it's not really much cooking going on but for me, I consider it cooking, okay? okay I'll, I'll bring it back to myself, okay? I'll tell you guys what I am grateful for. Personally, I am grateful for... It's gonna sound so cheesy, but I am grateful for this. This feels nice to get like messages every now and then telling me that they're inspired by me or something. Like, it's just so exciting. I'm just like, I'm inspiring people. Like, I actually feel like I have a purpose now. Um... And I'm trying my best to be my best for everyone else and I'm grateful that I have the platform to kind of showcase myself to people and use my platform for good for good it makes it sound like there's like evil you know <laughs> but you know what I mean I am grateful that I am able to reach more people now and I'm I'm grateful to have reached the people that I have now I still want to grow but I'm also learning to be okay with what I have now is that just gratitude <laughs> that led to like such a big rant but yeah just oh my lunch is ready <laughs> yay hold on let me get my lunch it's gonna turn into some kind of like mukbang or something but I got my lunch <laughs> oh gosh let's see how crispy it is wait I'm not gonna use a fork and a knife She's uh, looking very delicious. Oh, it's hot. Duh, it just came out of the air fryer, but like it's steaming. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's steaming hot. <laughs> mm. Thank you for the food that I'm eating today. Now I understand why we pray before we eat a meal. I'm gonna be honest, as a Catholic, I just prayed with like my family before every meal just because I thought I had to it was like no purpose for me you know practicing gratitude for the small things in life makes you appreciate your life more it makes the food taste even better because you know I made myself aware of how grateful I am of this meal <laughs> and really feel it okay you can't just be like okay I'm grateful for this because I have to you know practice gratitude really feel it in your heart you know, feel that gratitude in your heart, okay? <laughs> it's it's all in the feeling. You can't just say it. It just words don't mean anything unless you feel it. Mm. So please switching off from social media. I've been trying my best to switch off from social media after 8 30 p.m. I'm sometimes I do like still go on, I'm not gonna lie, I still go on at like 9, 10 o'clock. But I'm making it my mission to switch off 
<laughs> I feel like social media has taken over our lives. I feel like we spend so much time on social media that we forget to take a break from it, pause and just appreciate the moments that we're actually in, you know? I literally don't have my notifications turned on for any of my social media except YouTube. Because <laughs> like I found myself constantly going on it because like I'd get a notification like every minute or something like that. I'd look at my phone and get like, I need to scroll, I need to go look. The fact that I've turned off my notifications, I have no more temptation to go on, you know, my Instagram, my TikTok because I don't have any reminders telling me to go on. So I would actually suggest you guys to turn off your notifications. It's so disruptive and it's just it takes time away from your present life you know? This one is a bit basic, but it does make a difference. I promise so What I like to do is I literally go to a mirror any mirror or even like your phone if you want and Just smile at yourself Just smile at yourself you might even just like giggle because of how silly it seems but it actually makes a difference I mean personally I find that it makes a difference in my day anyways I'm even throwing up like a peace sign smile and pose I literally just smile and pose and just like and sometimes I just laugh at myself and I feel good after that <laughs> but like don't you guys just love it when you see a stranger just smile at you? Offer that smile to yourself. It makes a world of a difference just see yourself smiling. It associates this moment with some form of happiness when you smile at yourself. Showcase that teeth of yours. Especially if you got braces. I got braces. So braces are expensive. Thousands of dollars worth of investment. This is worth thousands of dollars and it was worth every cent because like I love my smile now so yeah I promise I know what I'm talking about okay okay next tip is to go outside and get some vitamin D yeah literally just step outside for like at least 10 minutes and get yourself some vitamin D it makes a world of a difference guys it literally makes a difference get some vitamin D from the sun Today, right now, ASAP. <laughs> okay, you might not want to hear this one, but meditating. Yes, you heard me, meditating. Okay, let me just list all the benefits of meditation on the screen. I can't fit all of them, but I'll list the important. Hello, windy right now. Why is my sister calling me? Hello. Come on, I am buying your now. Which one do you want? <gasps> um, I'm learning the area of one. Okay. Yes. Next tip! Whoops. <laughs> I need a bit. Uh, uh. Well, I just tasted my lunch again. That was delicious. Journaling. You probably have heard everyone say journaling helps, but it does, okay? You have to take care of your mental health in order to feel true happiness, okay? I have my May journal right here. You guys can't read it though because it's private. But I have been journaling every day, most days, for like I think two months now. It has helped me with my mental health because I have slowly overcome my past traumas, my past issues related to pretty much every aspect of my life. Being more self aware makes you a better person. Not just for yourself, but for other people. My back. My back. My back. My back. I decided to chuck some sunnies on my head, but let's continue. Eating some jelly. This tip you have to take with you. This is the most important tip. They're all important, but this is one of the most important tips, I would say. Don't compare your life to somebody else's highlight reveal. We find ourselves going through social media, looking through people's feeds, and seeing how glamorous, how nice their life is. It's so easy to get caught up in what other people are doing, but it's like, 
they're just posting what their best is. You don't know what's going on in their everyday life. Yes, they may seem happy posting those glamorous photos, but like, you honestly don't know what's happening behind the scenes. It may not be as glamorous as it seems, you know? Your chapter one could be someone else's chapter 20. Like there is no timeline on where you should be at right now. Focus on what you have, work on bettering yourself and improving your life rather than focusing on other people's lives. Can we agree on that? I think we can. Something we can agree on. And a reminder, please don't tie your self-worth on how successful you are in terms of like career, finance or love. There is no right or wrong with how successful you are in those aspects. You are always good enough, okay? No matter how much you've accomplished or how successful you are in life, you are always more than enough, exactly as you are. Please remember that, okay? Moral of the story, pardon me, is to focus on your own life. There's no point in wasting time thinking about everyone else's but your own. My camera died, so um, I had one more tip before, you know, it decided to die on me. Every night, I kind of just acknowledge what I am proud of myself for that day. So I honestly could be like, I'm proud of myself for working hard at the gym and pushing myself to the best of my ability. It can be as simple as I'm proud of myself for getting up this morning at 9 a.m. or just getting up in general, making yourself breakfast. And it just, I don't know, it makes me happy when I, get, when I feel like I've accomplished something for the day. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's just me. If you guys want to try it, please do try it. And it honestly could make that much bit of a difference before you go to sleep at night. Because, like, you'll be like, oh. I did that, this girl did this, yo yo. <laughs> so yeah, when you acknowledge something about yourself that you should be proud of, it kind of empowers you in a way to feel like you have a sense of purpose in this world, which everyone does have a sense of purpose, no matter how big or small it is. Um, your purpose could honestly just be to, to be a mum, which is mine. Honestly, that is my end goal, is to be a mum. I'm so excited to be a mum. Even though, like, giving birth is a bit much. I'm a bit scared of, like, the whole, like, you know, producing a baby. But it kind of motivates you to keep going, to keep pushing, to keep being better and allowing yourself to feel good about yourself makes a difference in how you live your life. It really ties with like self-worth and all that stuff. That's literally a whole nother video in its own, just like talking about self-worth and self-esteem. I don't want to rant on about that right now, but it definitely does improve your self-worth and how you view yourself when you state what you are proud of yourself for every single day. For me, when I reached 1K, I took myself out on a day just to celebrate my hard work and my effort to get to where I am today. And it's, it feels nice to acknowledge the smaller goals that you have accomplished in your life because it makes the bigger goals that much sweeter because you've enjoyed the process a little, if that makes sense. Don't forget to celebrate yourselves. Okay, don't forget. Don't neglect yourselves. You guys deserve the love and appreciation. Give that all to yourself. Give some love and appreciation to yourself. Because who else is going to celebrate you? No one knows what little achievements you are doing unless you tell them. The whole world's like. I'm going to end this video here. And I hope that you guys are all staying safe and sane wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.